You know, all of us want to feel free from something. We want to feel a sense of freedom. That's what people long for in retirement. That's what people long for in a vacation. Freedom. And we can feel free right now, before retirement, before vacation. It says in 2 Corinthians 3, verse 17, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Well, I pray that the Spirit of the Lord is within you today. And I pray that because of that, you feel free. The Spirit of the Lord is light, and that light shines in you, through you, and for you. The light reveals to you who you are. You're a child of God. And anything that has seemed to bind you drops away. Any unhappy thoughts of the past are released and forgiven. You are free. I'm going to repeat that. You are free. You have to accept that in prayer. You're free to be changed into God's likeness. The Spirit of the Lord is life. And that life, well, it will strengthen you. It will renew you. It will revitalize you. And it will perfect you. You know that you are God's perfect child in any condition of the mind or the body that has limited you, is now released. You're no longer bound or burdened. Your mind and your body are free and at peace. The Spirit of the Lord is order. You're established in that divine order. And any unwanted condition or unwanted habit, it falls away, leaving you with a new sense of well-being, leaving you in satisfaction and happy fulfillment. You're free in spirit, mind, and body. You realize freedom for yourself today, and you know that there is freedom for others also those dear ones that you're praying for today, that you're concerned about today, they are in God and therefore they have the full capacity of also realizing freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So we pray that the Spirit of the Lord is also in them, giving them freedom. The Spirit of the Lord is within us all, and therefore we are all free.